Oh boy, if the planet doesn't stop shaking, I'm going to have to rename my YouTube channel to the Earthquake Channel. We got the 7.1 in California, the 6.4 in California on Independence Day, a couple days later, a bigger one. Now we got here a uh, Iran earthquake, a massive tremor shakes the rich oil town as worldwide size activity surges. In Iran, a big 5.7 magnitude shook the southern part of the country on Monday. The tremor is believed to have killed at least one person and injured four more. The earthquake struck uh, 84 kilometers, 52 miles east of the Iranian city of Avaz, a town in the in the uh, Khuzestan province. Well, that's some tough words here. With host the third largest oil field in the world, so they could be like the uh, the uh, the Beverly Hillbillies, and up from the ground came a bubbling crude oil. That is. They wouldn't need to get no more money from Obama if they could just get the oil to start bubbling up from the ground like it does in Los Angeles, you know? The tremor struck at a depth of uh, 17 kilometers with several aftershocks being reported after the first big quake. So the Iranian state TV said rescue teams were deployed to uh, surrounding rural areas as well as the cities to help those in need. The quake uh, has been felt as far away as Kuwait, Iraq, and Saudi Arabia. Many were scared by the earthquake. They took to social media to express their concerns. Wow. Light fixtures hanging from the ceilings were visibly moving. So back in 2003, a 6.6 earthquake hit uh, the historic city of Bam in southern Iran killed 26,000 people so this earthquake comes as the world has experienced a series of strong tremors and then of course they got here California which lies on the notorious San Andreas fault has been recently shaken by the 6.4 and 7.1 within just a week the big one is a massive quake forecast forecasted by experts likely to devastate the entire region. And what was it the governor of California says, the earthquakes are a wake-up call, you think? Well, that ain't all. Yesterday on 7-7 in Indonesia, a tsunami warning was issued after another 7.1 magnitude earthquake struck Indonesia. It was issued for uh, eight cities. The quake struck in... Uh, in the Maluka Sea, between the islands of uh, Sulawesi and North Maluka, at a depth of 22 miles. And then there were several smaller aftershocks, followed by the waves of up to a half a meter, were predicted for the nearest coastlines. As usual, it caused panic in the city of Ternate, where people ran to higher ground. Some of the hospitals in the city, around 80 miles from the epicenter, sustained minor damage and had to evacuate patients. So, uh, you know, it says there were no uh, immediate casualties. And uh, they did lift the tsunami warning over an hour after the quake. So, like I said, everything's shaking, shaking, shaking. I mean, we know there's earthquakes every day, but when they get up, you know, around the six and over six and the sevens, you know, those are big earthquakes. And, uh, it says Indonesia is prone to earthquakes and volcanic eruptions due to its location along the Pacific Ring of Fire. So back in 2004, a total of 230,000 people were killed in a dozen countries, most of them in Indonesia. And last month, the coast of Indonesia was hit by a 7.3, which was felt uh, in the capital of Dili, and Australia's most northern city, Darwin. So I figured I'd give you a quick update. Like I said, it, you know, I could just dedicate this channel to earthquakes alone at the rate we're going. So figured I'd share that with YouTube, give you an update. Peace out, and uh, we'll see what happens in the coming days. Thanks for watching.